Hey yo friendos! Thank you all so much for joining me today. In this video we are going to be diving right back into the Celestial Nirvana palette. Now of course this is one of the latest palettes to release from Miss Pat McGrath and we'll be doing two looks with this one palette. Along the way I'm going to give you a little bit more insight into how I think the palette performs because there was a few shades that we didn't get to put on the eye in the initial review video. And trust me some of these insights are eye-opening. My sister did not think that was funny. I hope you guys do. So one of the looks I did, of course, is the one on my eyes right now. If you don't have this palette and you would like to follow along, just grab a couple of your favorite rainbow palettes and we will do this together. Okay, friendos, y'all just stay tuned. Okay, friendos, and you know me, I can't resist the green. We're going to start out with that today. And I'm going into my Units 203 brush. And today I'm going to be more concerned with placement than actual blending, you know, for, for the get-go. I'm super excited that we're getting to dive back into this palette because after I watched my last video back, I realized there was a lot of things that I didn't really touch on or talk about. I didn't give it the most glowing of reviews. Um, I didn't give it a bad review or anything, but I did tell you guys that I didn't feel like this was worth the, I believe it was 80 some dollar price tag. So I do feel like a fair price for this palette would be somewhere like 50-ish, 60-ish dollar range. If you've been a customer of Miss Pat McGrath and you know her stuff goes on sale all the time. It's kind of infuriating <laughs> as a buyer, honestly. But yeah, it does go on sale. You'll probably see this on sale for 30% off and be able to get it for a more reasonable price. All right, so since I'm wearing a blue shirt, I'm gonna go in with the blue shade again. And I'm just going to buff this along my crease on the outer edge. And I didn't say the brush, but it is a Sigma E34. And this is a nice blue, you guys. Like it's probably one of the nicer blues in my collection. Again, I'm just doing the thing where I place it down and then I'm going to blend it all out later. I'm curious, how do you guys feel about these luxury brands going on sale for like 30% off frequently? Do you guys get excited like, yay, now I get to stock up on my favorites? Or do you feel like, oh my god, why did I pay $129 when now it's on sale for $90? I guess that's one of the downsides to reviewing products is you have to buy it or no views will be given. Well, it's really more of a me problem. Also guys, I have ordered those Quint palettes. Everyone else has gotten their palette. They have not shipped mine yet. I've reached out, I have been ignored. Yay. Okay, so now I wanna go in with the pink shade and I'm gonna do this on an NJC E06. All right, so I'm gonna go into the crease a little bit over here. I'm gonna be really, really messy with this, you guys. So just hang with me. Okay, friendos, let's say we go in with this pink shimmery shade right here. This is on a full shadow Eco Tools brush that I bought a very long time ago. Baby. Okay, I'm gonna end up spraying the brush, I think. One more. Me. Okay, friendos, I gotta tell you, I'm not really that pleased with the pink, with the pink shimmer that is. It just looks kind of dull. It doesn't really look sparkly. It's more pearly. I think I'm gonna try to go in. Let's watch this. Do we think that this is gonna take it up a notch? That's a question. Okay, maybe we'll go in with this shade right here. I'm trying to use things that we didn't use in the first video so that, you know, we can try it all out and give a more thorough review than the first impression review. This is just okay. Alrighty, friendos, I'm gonna do my final blowout blending. Then I'm gonna go in and line and lash, and then hopefully we could all move on with our lives. I'll be right back to you guys. So friendos, I am back. Everything is done. I'm gonna just be honest with you guys. I'm in a rush. I had a little error over here when I was putting on my eyeliner, so it's not entirely straight. I don't have time to fix it, so we're just gonna keep it as is. Let's finish up the look though. Also, just want to say, I'm not entirely in love with this eye look that I did. I think it's fine. I think it's great. But I don't know. I really struggled today to come up with something creative and fun. I just, 
I did not have the inspiration today. I'm probably just gonna put on this Nude Sticks Lip Glaze. This is in the shade Nude 08. Okay, and let's dive into Patrick Ta. Do a little wakey cakey. I'm gonna go in with the pinky one. And I'm trying to go in light-handed because you know what happens with Patrick Ta when you don't go in light-handed. Then a little bit of the cream on top. So guys, here's our completed look with everything on. Definitely like the more rosy cheek with this eyeshadow look. I wish that the colors that I used had been a little bit more bold, especially the pink shimmer shade. That one was a real letdown, but I digress. I've got to get going, so I'll see you all just a moment in the next one. So friendos, for this look, I'm gonna start out in the pink shade once again, and this is gonna be sort of a guard. I'm gonna try not to get anything else over where I put this pink down. I'm going to be careful with this. This is on units 204. Closing my eye now and praying for the best. <laughs> Okay, now to repeat the same thing on the other side. I'm actually feeling a lot better about this look than the last one, you guys. Earlier today, I just did not feel that inspired, and now I do. We are filming at night, and to be real, I feel like I have my best artistic inspiration at night. Not that this is gonna be anything that fancy, but just in general, my, my most creative ideas and I feel like my best looks come out at night. Next up, we'll go in with the red shade. This looks orangey red. We're gonna see what it looks like on the eye compared to in the pan. And you guys know this guy, an old trusted friend, a crappy Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. It looks more pinky red on the eye. Pat McGrath trying to trick us. And I'm just taking my time I will be blending this all out, but for placement, I still wanna be careful and don't want too much to clean up. Okay, so now I'm gonna start dealing with that same red color again, but on a different brush. This is on my NJC E06 Precision Blend brush. <laughs> Guys, I am putting in the time. I'm just building up this red color on either sides of where I put the pink down. So I'm gonna be here doing this for a hot minute. Five minutes later. Now guys, on the same brush, I'm going to go in with this more brick red shade. And I'm just gonna be adding some more dimension to the inner portion and the outer portion of my eyes. I'm not gonna take this one up as high. It's gonna go into my crease a little bit above, but not nearly as high as any of the other shades. Now, friendos, I have wiped off my ABH brush. I'm gonna go back in and just really try to blur the edges by buffing and blending. I thought that was fun watching, just me. Now for the fun, we're going to go in with the golden shimmer shade over here, and we're gonna go right over top of where the pink is. I'm actually not spraying my brush because I don't want this to completely cover up the pink. I want the pink to shine through. Maybe even give it a slightly orangey glow. Hopefully that will happen. Can't be sure. And y'all, this shimmer is just okay. I feel the same way about it as I did the light pink one that we used in our first look. And I've been able to go over and over and still not achieved opacity. Nothing close to it. That's why it's hard for me to get really excited about these mega mothership palettes. Like you can get better quality so many other places and for less. It kind of just feels like a cash grab to me where they print the Pat McGrath name on something and they know that it is not up to par with their normal formula. Now guys, I'm gonna go in with a bold eyeliner today 
but it's not going to be a winged eyeliner for this look because if I do another winged liner, my sister will kill me. So let's get going. And I did use the Pat McGrath Perma Gel Eyeliner and I will be smoking this out here in a minute. And friendos, I am cheating a little bit. I'm going in with some black mas black mascara, black eyeshadow from a Viseart palette on a small little refer 03 and I'm gonna go over where I just put down my gel eyeliner. So that's the one thing about recording at night. Yes, you're more creative, but you're also far less awake. It's easy to get tongue tied at night, at least for me. And the dry down on the Pat McGrath Permagel eyeliner is, it's pretty quick. You don't have a whole lot of time to work with it. If you want something that has more time for blendability, the Hourglass Voyeur eyeliner, that one. Chef's Kiss Primo, that's the one for blending out. Okay, I want a little bit more definition here, guys. So I'm gonna go in with the gold shade and I'm gonna put it in the center under my eye under my eyelashes, into my eyelashes, somewhere in there, that's where it's going. So I'm gonna take a break from you all. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna carefully do my mascara, put on some false lashes, and I'll be right back. So guys, I'm back, I'm feeling vampy. Let's use this Lip Black Lip Serum Black Veil from Isamaya. And then just to give my face a little bit more, I don't know, oomph. <laughs> Um, a little bit more color. I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and maybe just a little bit of blush. I'm going to use uh, last year's Hourglass Ambient Lighting Face Palette. And guys, I think that's going to be it. Let me know what you think of this look. It is a little bit different from what I normally do. You guys know I don't even like pink eyeshadow, but I, I am kind of feeling this look. It just looks I don't know, kind of wild and scary. If you guys could see my sister's judgmental look right now. And I do just kind of want to end off this video because I think this eyelash over here is about to pop off at any second. It was fabulous hanging out with you guys today. I hope that you guys got to see a little more insight into the overall performance of the Celestial Nirvana palette. I hope you guys enjoyed the looks. I wish you all an amazing rest of your day. Let me know if you've picked up a new palette recently what it is, what you're liking, what you're not. I always like to hear back from you guys. If you watched till the end and if you had a good time while doing so, well then please don't hesitate to go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not done so already, because if not, we'll both have to live in the sorrow of never knowing what could have been. Okay guys, have a great one. Bye.